area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. You know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers that notification gang, RiceGangClothing.com, and the merchandise. You heard me write the clip of Blue. I ain't talking fast. You're listening slow. So you got Murder Mook versus Reed Dollars. See, a lot of y'all, you know, newer fans, app era fans, I get it. Y'all asking, like, why is Reed? Why is Reed versus Mook? Nobody wants to see this. But for them DVD era fans, them fans that used to go to the barbershop, get a white tee, a haircut, all the bootleg DVDs, and some Air Ones for like $75, this is for them. This is for the NBA. NBA Live fans, they used to play NBA Live, you know what I'm saying? This is this is for them. This is for the back block, the, the, the $5 lineup back in the day. This is for them. That was nice. That was fun. That was aggressive. That was a major task. He definitely performed and did what he needed to do. But I come from fucking Reed Dollars, Joey Jahad. I don't know if y'all know about this, like, Murder Mook, where, like, Bad On was, like, it wasn't about, like, songs and shit. Like, it's about just, like, actually killing shit. Keep your I mean, this is for the Jacob Watch era. This is not for this is not for the casual fan. The Rock's got so many cuts, I give him ointment. Picking up a market, you won't make it as an artist. You've been spitting for the longest, but you sound like a novice. I guess this cat here is a winner, so don't call it. You a trash can in a winner, you cold garbage. This is not for the new guy, you know what I'm saying? This is for the Bape era fan when Bapes used to be out. This is for the mixtapes. The DJ Big Mike, you know what I'm saying? The DJ Famouses, the DJ Clues, the DJ Envies. This is for the DJ K Slay mixtape era. So I get it if you're not in tune with that. I get it. But you got to realize. See, a lot of people will say things about Reed as far as his status and things like that. But Reed's counterparts respect him. We got him. 50 shots on the top, 100 shots on the bottom. Ready for war. Scoop aim, ready to pour. Slitch niggas, bitch niggas, keep their head to the floor. Talk that shit. That's why the young niggas wanna roll with me. Punchline raps don't work, they can't flow with me. Eight year veteran, the balls is out. I've been hot before the tour and Big Star was out. Niggas tried to sleep on him. I got low, creep on him. Eight years later, I'm greater as rest in peace for him. I got him a box to suit with the crease on him. Sat in the back of the funeral, watch the fan grieve on him. I am sick with a cold, don't make me Sneeze on them, niggas that'll snap your neck, you even breathe on them. Young De Niro, low on some fly shit, kept my mouth quiet, I'm calling that boss mob shit. They look at him as legendary. Why you think Reed get the battles that he get? He don't get the battles that he get based off politics. What has Reed done? What has he done? He's helped influence a whole city. Reed put a city on his back. Reed was outside, 40 to the neck. The vest is an ammo, strapped up, look like I'm Rambo. V Reed was the guy. One of the, Reed was doing millions of views before, y'all know what he said. I was doing millions of views before niggas even knew what millions of views was on YouTube. Like, that was him. So when you hear about him versus Murder Moo, respectfully, like me and Murder Moo have had our documented scrutiny, back and forth, friction, you know what I'm saying? Because whether I felt like he won a battle, lost a battle, or interaction shit like that, that's cool. I got no issue with the man. I don't know him personally. It's just from an analytical perspective. I can say whether I feel like you won, whether I feel like you lost, that's my personal business. But what I will say is, when it comes to him being legendary, and when it comes to the shit that he's done for Battle Rap Murder Mook provided a way, might not have been directly, but he helped catapult a whole culture to where you have URL, leagues, bloggers, all of it. Without Murder Mook, battling on them DVDs, ain't none of this shit possible. So you gotta give him that kind of respect. He's been outside more often. His last battle with the two on two, I wasn't feeling it that much, you know what I'm saying? The Park Lane, Murder Life. I don't even know who won that battle. I don't know what the lad I, I really have no idea how that shit went. It just it wasn't a good battle. But he battled Tay Rock, he beat Tay Rock. And now he's coming back to battle Reed on a summer madness. This is a big look. Mook is gonna take Reed serious, trust me. He is going to take Reed hundred percent serious. But Reed is too, and the thing about Reed is Reed has been learning battle rap on the go. Like every one of his battles, he's been getting better and better and better. Reed beat Nitty. Throwing dirt on the floor, I feel like Briggs. I don't wanna murder no more. He beat him. He did. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Reed versus uh, Sue Surf. Half moon over the wave. Hit his aerial with 51, everything in Nevada fly. We don't start rapping like that. Reed, that was the best part of your uh, 
That was the best part of your comeback. I'm just gonna say bias, being biased. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm just I'm just being honest with you. In order to keep it a buck, I gotta be honest. Um, but <laughs> it is good to see Reed cooking and him versus Mook. It's gonna be a war. You <laughs> like when Reed first came, Reed had a battle with uh when he first came back around, not first came out. He had a battle with John John. Everybody knows the in the car battle. Like it didn't go good for him. Reed was under the perspective that he just show up rap and people gonna love him from a nostalgic perspective, and he's automatically gonna win. But he learned quick that life don't work like that. It's a new era, it's a new day, it's new things going on. You can't just show up with your old moves and be like, I'm gonna win just because I'm me. Life don't work like that. So he had to retool, he had to revitalize, he had to reinvigorate himself, he had to change, he had to add some muscle to his hustle, and he came back. Versus chest, fire. That's how you blow off steam. He came back again. He kept spinning the block. He kept spinning the block, kept shopping and kept working on his craft. He comes out with current event bars. He knows what's going on in the culture. We respected the game. He respected the handle. Now he can scramble. Him versus Murder Mook is going to be in war. You know, I'm sure Showtime SP is probably going to pick Reed. I'm sure he's going to pick Reed. I mean, why wouldn't he? Why wouldn't he? You from Philly, right? You better pick Reed. You gotta pick Reed. You got no choice. But matter of fact, I'm picking. <laughs> I figure. I figure Reed for Showtime. Showtime ain't got no choice. He got to take Reed two one. I'm taking Mook two one. I'm sorry. I'm from New York. Regardless. But I mean, when it comes to the New York artists, I know at times my opinion is just that. But I, I know where we came from. I know what what it took to get to where a lot of these MCs is at in the battle rap culture. So I mean, I want. I got high standards and high expectations from the niggas from New York. So I hope that Mook brings his A-game and knows that Reed ain't finna play with him. It's gonna be a war. Uh, you got that, then you got uh, Sue Surf versus John John and Don, and you probably got Daylight versus k Shine. This shit might be, it might be the biggest summer madness ever. I ain't gonna hold you if, if the battle is shaping up like that. But, uh, you know, I like Mook versus Reed. It's a lot of history. It's, if you ain't gonna do nothing else, you gonna get a history lesson if you ain't gonna get nothing else because this shit is some nostalgia like a motherfucker. It'll take you back 20 years if you think about it, man. Just think about where Battle Rap was at and where it's at now. Crazy. SP, talk to me. Gang. Mook versus Reed? Mook versus Reed Dallas. We've been waiting for this one. You know how long we've been waiting for this one? We've been waiting for this one since niggas used to dress like this back in Philly, bro. Since niggas used to just be outside, wife beater with the keys swinging. I remember being 14, 15 years old, going up to, uh, uh, I remember going up to 18th, I think it was 18th at, um, it was 18th at Snyder, wherever the Chuck's Water Ice stand at. Wherever you used to see niggas playing ball, you used to see in the corner niggas used to be battle rapping. And I remember there was a time when there was cats like, Joey J. That trash bag, FDO or the glad bag, mm. Illidel niggas, bombs over Baghdad. Oh. I'm in new trees, hummers and V's, 23's when I breeze, 100 thou on my sleeve, 40 on my neck, keep the 40 in the legs. You drink a lot? Well, hun, take this 40 to the neck. Oh. You marry shorty, I fuck with shorty for the sex. You had Meek Mill and uh, that nigga Lil, you had Young Pool, you had uh shit shoot let, let, let's let's keep it going you had cheek raw shots for the streets y'all you y'all y'all remember that y'all y'all remember that this is that era this is what i've been waiting on this is what i've been trying to see you know what i'm saying man i didn't know whether we was about to run from a shootout go play ball or was we about to go eat some chips? Was we about to go to the poppy store and get the uh, chicken cheese steaks or the cheese steak? It don't matter. That's what this brought me back to. This is that essence this battle has brought me back to. But since that time has progressed, my question is, have you leveled up yet? Have we really leveled up? Because let me tell y'all something. I don't dress like this no more. You know what I'm saying? It, it definitely, the fit be a lot different. You feel me? But... Murder Moot vs. Reed Dollars is finally going down. It's finally going down. Are you ready, niggas? Are you ready? Hmm? Wall paint, vests, ammos, two berettas over the sh A ramble, y'all. Is that what y'all ready for? He got a chick named Cesar. She used to eat the 
for a slice of pizza. That's what y'all ready for? That's what y'all ready for? Y'all ready for the big hats? Y'all ready for the big hats to come back? Mm -hmm. Y'all ready for that? Because it's summer madness. It's here now. Overall, I, I think I'm excited about it. I'm really excited about it. Definitely get me back in my bag and put me back in my roots. I can't say that I'm too, too, too excited for it because of the fact that, you know, um, through the progression of time, uh, both of these guys have leveled up. Both of these guys have definitely reached that legendary status and they have both reached the pinnacle of them to step outside. Their step outsideness is a lot better now. You know what I'm saying? Beforehand, we was hoping for Reed to come back. And then when he battled John John, John John kind of put Reed back in a spot where he needed to go back and revamp himself. And he did. He went to Battle Rap Academy. He battled Rosenberg Raw. He came back to URL. And he had a good battle with Kayshawn. And he had a really good battle with Sue Surf. And he had a very, very, very good battle with Rum Nitty. So let's not act like Reed. Ain't been putting in that pain. Ain't been putting in that work. As far as Murder Mook, since his return, when he came back, he battled Averb. One of the craziest battles of that year. One of the most debated battles of that year. People got Bird winning that. But now people probably got Mook winning that battle. Third round on. Mook can rap for 25 minutes. We ain't got to worry about not having material. When you rap for 25 minutes in a round. Hmm? What are we doing here? What are we doing here? Murder Mook came back so that he can have a two-on-two -two with Briz and T-Top. Didn't go that well. Didn't, it, didn't, it didn't go that well. But then after that, he had a battle with J-Rock. Another good battle of that year. Another battle of high caliber that is heavily... Heavily debated. I could just say people want to debate that. And I'm pretty sure after everybody's attitudes changed, people have already switched over to say that maybe Mook have clearly won or maybe Rock clearly won because of the things that transpired in between those times. Let's not forget about that one rounder that he had with Street Hems and that John was crazy. We, we, we not about to deny that neither one of these dudes can rap. Both of them can rap. Both of them are cut from that cloth. But this is Summer Madness. This is 2021. This is Summer Madness 11. You feel me? Like, it has to mean something. It has to have that feel. And this is a feel of old school. Have to battle old school. Because old school maybe can't rock with the new era. Especially after last night, I would have loved to see Mook versus uh, Easy to Block Captain. Mm -hmm. After after that, I would have loved to see Reed Dollars versus Jada Nightwing or 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 or, 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 or um, shit Mike P. Real sick. You got cats like that that don't even match their, that that don't even wasn't around when they was around, but they were students of the game. The we I was them niggas. I would fall in that JC category. That's when I came in. That's when I was watching Battle Rap. That's when I knew about who was doing what, where, with who. And that's when I got bit by the bug. When I was like this, the only thing we was doing, we just had to have a bop. We had to make sure the video was right. We had to get it. I'm about to slide up in the grave with the dollars and the slaves. I ain't got no money. I got dollars with the slaves. All I had to do, hit the move. Silence with the cave. We gon' move in silence. We move smiles with the... You feel me? Like that that's that, that's how I'm at with, with it. Or you want that switch so uh uh he said, uh you know we had to come and had to switch the flow, had to roll around with the flip and go and tip the go, and I played football last week, give and go, had to let it go with the thing, had to switch the smoke. Now I gotta switch the flow. Every time I gotta roll around with the kick and go, man. Is that what you want? Is that what you want? Cause that's what I want. That's, I want all of that in all three rounds for rate. I'm not going to tell you who I think is going to win this battle because there might be a little bit of bias on my end because this kind of is a legendary type war. But, Vada, I'm going to let you. I'm going to let you do what you do. I'm going to be over here. I got to find a, 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 I gotta find a T-shirt or something. This is weird because I don't know how we used to do this back in the day. It was usually hot when we did it, though. But that's how we did 